gonna be alright. We 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 gonna be alright. They all walked away. Then Jesus said, to her, "Hey, did anybody condemn you?" And she said, "No, Lord." And then he says to her, "Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more." I have been to church. I grew up in the church. What I'm saying is, as a finite man, as a man who does not exist, no, they don't. They speak the word. They not the word. They are the church. We are here to pastor. This is a typical response. People come out, mock, laugh. Some people ask good questions. Some people just stand out on the outskirts and listen. But I think that's the main thing. Our main thing is to get people thinking and to get people talking about Christianity, about the Bible, about the meaning of life. Uh, so I think we kind of accomplished that a little bit today. Even in the cold, people came out and listened to what we had to say. So I think that's an accomplishment in and of itself. I think people are just curious. Some people, you know, they get messages and texts. Oh, there's some crazy people out on campus, you know, saying certain things and they want to go and uh, hear it for themselves. And I think maybe if they stay a little bit longer and maybe talk to us on the sidelines to come to figure out maybe these people aren't as crazy as I thought they were. We believe college students are the future of America. So we're trying to reach them with the gospel, trying to make them think because we want godly people in our government, in our country, and in our businesses and everywhere. So we're trying to give them a good uh, godly perspective, a Christian perspective. See, I am a kid. I thought I'd come down here talking. I thought I'd meet some Southern Bells. <laughs> obviously, everyone knows that it's just a publicity stunt, but I think, like, obviously we all have it in our back of our minds, like, we could just, you know, we could just walk away, but, like, oh god. <laughs> Like, the thing is, is that it's not about walking away. It's the fact that, like, like I don't know, telling me, well, listening to them say, like, hands up, don't shoot. Like, well, who the fuck are they to, like, you know, say that shit? It's ridiculous. Yeah. Not gonna say to anybody. And, that, and that's what starts the whole, you know, that everybody talks about this divide. And the going, university seems like they just don't care that these people come in and do this guy. It's like, the university kind of needs to do a little bit better. Like I understand it's public property and they can be here, but this is disturbing the peace. They're harassing people and when we walk away, it doesn't stop. We don't want them hurting anybody else. I think if people maybe sat down and maybe, you know, maybe thought about it a little more, they weren't just maybe caught up in the moment or emotional like a lot of the students, they'll see the wisdom of it, you know what I'm saying? I think you have to come out outside a little bit to see what's really, what's really going on, you know? So they might just see, you know, somebody say something and they'll judge the whole thing, but there's more, there's more to the madness than you can see. <laughs> yeah, well, we, you know, we provoke people to thinking, we provoke people to dialogue. That's what does, uh, you know, uh, everything we do, we get people thinking about the Bible. Obviously, you know, if, if we came out here with like a clipboard, people would avoid us like the plague. <laughs> How would you describe kind of the mood here, like how the crowd is reacting? A lot of solidarity, actually. Um, one of the guys was so sweet. The man started talking about feminism, and he immediately was like, how can you say this woman right here is not my equal? Um, so I think, I think there's an understanding among the students gathered around that people are going to be this way and we don't have to be like them, um, even if we're angry that we can stick together. I'm, I feel like if I ever had an issue, at, at least at UK, somebody at least would have my back. You know? And like this, you know, just this shows that we all, we all are a family. Even yeah. if the administrators don't let make them stop, we have each other's backs, we're there for each other. Yeah. And Did any of the three of you know each other before no. today? No. no. I don't even know their names. No. <laughs> I'm Lenora. I'm She's Kenzie. Kenzie. I'm Blake. Nice to meet you. <laughs> We have to come together, especially in this day and age where everything is basically falling apart. Yep. We have to come together. Yep.